Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So yesterday, we showcased the brand new LR Angel Golden Frieza in Android 17, who I still believe is a highly, highly underrated unit, but of course we can save that discussion for another time, because today in this video, we'll be showcasing their counterparts on the Part 2 Top Legendary Summon, the Int LR Android 17 slash Team Universe 7, who I finally was able to pull during my collab with my boy Toon Rami earlier today. If you guys missed those videos, I'll put a link above my head, so definitely go check them out. And it was specifically on Toon Rami's part on his channel where I got this guy, and uh, it took quite a bit. It took quite a bit. I mean, I kind of went a little bit crazy in that video. You know how, like, normally in collabs, we do three to four multis each and then call it a day. In that video, I think I might have done 15 multis. Maybe it wasn't that much, but it was a ton, man. Like I just kept summoning and summoning and he was trying to end the video and I was like, nah, man, I'm doing this. And uh, it worked out. So, I mean, I guess it was worth it, but it was a lot of stones, man. Anyways, the point is we have them. We're showcasing them today, and obviously, like I said, I only have one, so this is mine, and we did bring a friend at 100%, so this video will also be kind of like a 100% versus 55% uh, comparison as well, so there's that. And with all that said, we're gonna jump right into it. Now, on this first rotation, we have the Friend 17, and it's actually not a really good rotation because we're not getting a lot of links here and we're also not getting a lot of orbs so I don't think we'll be able to get that 18 key super but I guess it's not too bad because it'll give us a place to go from here right so we'll start off small start off with a you know regular 12 key super and then later on we'll get those bigger numbers so uh, yeah I think what I'm gonna do is hmm what if I give only one orb to Goku. Well, the AGL. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got. Never mind. Okay, so we got an 18 key super still. Still got that 18 key super. And defense is at 134,306, which is not great, but not bad either. And of course, they do raise the defense for um, the entire rotation by 30% on their 12 key and also 18 key supers. So they are going to get uh, a little bit more tanky after the attack. So. Here we go, I'm gonna give these orbs to Vegeta, and let's see what kind of numbers we get out of the 17 here. Alright, so it looks to me like 3.2 mil, right? I think it was 3.2 mil. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Now if we did get 20... Oh, additional! Nice! Yeah, if we got the 22 key um, super attack, which uh, gives them an additional 70% attack, then it would have been a lot better. But for the first turn, you know, getting an 18 key super, pretty happy with that. And uh, overall, with the additional, I think we saw about like 5, maybe 5.5 mil attack stat. So a decent start. Now obviously, what we want to do is get them linked up with the Fizz 17, and also get the support from the Piccolo and Gohan, which is exactly actually what we have here. So. This should be pretty nice for my 55% um, uh, 17 and Team Universe 7. And yeah, big difference. As you can see, 159,000 defense um, for a 55% 17 and Team Universe 7. You know, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but of course, we get a big boost from this guy. We get a little bit of a boost from this guy. And we also have the links as well. So. Uh, yeah, we got six out of seven links activated right now. Uh, I'm gonna save that active skill actually, but let's do the 24k super here. And uh, hmm, actually, should I? I kind of messed up, man. I messed up. I wanted to take this guy out of rotation so we can link him together with the other 17. But um, you know, we gotta keep them together right now. So we'll we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. For now, let's showcase my 55% 17, I guess. And then we'll focus on the other one. Okay, so there we go. 5.3 mil. 
for my 17. That's, uh... That's alright. <laughs> that's... That's alright. Okay, so I guess what we're gonna do then instead is actually take this 17 out of rotation, eventually get him back on the other rotation, and at that point, we'll be able to uh, get the double 17 with the friend Rainbow 17. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, of course, a question that comes up a lot, uh, at least recently, right, since we got the banner, is uh, between the two LRs, between the Golden Frieza and Android 17, and the 17 slash Team Universe 7, which unit is better, right? I get that question a lot. I know people are curious, because obviously, when you get two new units at the same time, everyone wants to know, like, which one is the superior one, so they know if they pulled the better one, or which one that they should be happy about getting. And the first thing I would say is, like, I think they're both good. I think both units have, uh, you know, really good offense and can get some really good defense. But I think that these units are better suited for different kinds of events. And I know that's a bit of a cop-out answer, right? Like, it depends. The answer basically is, it depends on the event you're running to determine which one's better. But I think that's really how it is. Because for the 17 and Team Universe 7, I feel like they're better on short to medium events where like you can probably finish it within four to six turns something like that and in that case um they're really good but in the longer events where the enemies are starting to hit really hard i feel like their defense might not hold up too well whereas for the frieza and 17 their defense will get better and better over the course of the event so for longer events they're really really great and then, you know, they also have the additional damage reduction, which I think is a big boost or a big plus for them over the team in River 7 and uh, 17 because, you know, having an additional up to 28% damage reduction and also the built up defense over the course of the event makes them quite a bit more tanky uh, than the 17 and U7 team. So uh, I would say longer events, Frieza and 17 are better, shorter events, the u7 and 17 are better i'm really hoping i didn't like mix up the the two lrs because like right now i'm thinking back to what i said i'm like did i say that right did i say that correct but well, you guys get the point right yeah it's like this lr we're showcasing right now better for short to medium and then the freeze at 17 better for longer events where you have the time to build them up and once they're fully built up like they're actually really really impressive both on offense and on defense. And I would have to say, after having used these guys, like both on multiple teams and on multiple events, I actually, I kind of prefer the the LR Golden Frieza and 17 to the 17 and U7, you know? Like, I, I just think their play style is more suited to what I like, I guess, if that makes sense. And um, as I've said a million times, man, I just think they're so underrated. By the way, the attack stat was not that good there, but it was because we didn't get the 22 key. Um, I thought we had enough, but we didn't, so we did miss out on a lot of attack, okay? So just wait for a turn where we have enough orbs to get like a 22 key or 24 key super, and that's when we'll be able to see their full offensive potential. And defensively, of course, I'm not saying they're bad either, right? As I said, they're both good defensively, it's just the 17 and Frieza will be better defensively um, in the longer events. This could hurt a little bit. Okay, uh, okay, proving my point, yo. <laughs> proving my point. They are better. They are definitely better in these, uh, or sorry, they, they are good. They are definitely good. On defense even in longer events I'm just saying I think the Frieza and 17 are superior but they can still hold their own man you know that 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 tanking of the the super right there is clear indication it's clear proof that they can still do good things on defense especially if you link them up with the Fizz 17 right getting that additional I think it's 60% defense in the passive I think 60% or 70% I think 60. Anyways, 
getting that big defense boost, getting almost all of your links activated is also huge. And um, yeah, I just like both units, man. I think they're both really good. Um, I think a lot of people do really like the U7, and rightfully so, they are a great unit. But don't sleep, okay, don't sleep on Golden Frieza and 17 as well. I know this is a showcase for this LR in particular, but I just gotta put that out there, man. I just gotta put that out there, like give the, the Frieza and 17 a chance to. Okay, so this should be a very good rotation for us. We have over 200,000 defense, and we have a 24 key super, and we have the double support, although only 20% from the uh, Piccolo and Gohan, but still, shouldn't be too bad. And look at, look at Fizz17 putting up some good defense too. Love to see it, man. Wait until this guy gets an easy A though. When he gets an easy A, it's gonna be a good time. All right, so it looks like we're getting 6.65 mil attack here. Additional, no additional. Good damage though, I'll take that. Very good damage. And of course, the buffing of defense for the entire rotation also helps for these events where you know, the entire, like all three units will be taking less damage than they, than they normally do. So I guess that's something that I don't or haven't taken into consideration nearly enough, but I do want to give them that that credit, right? Give them that shout out for the uh, support, the defensive support. And on top of that, they're also giving, I think 7% crit chance too on the 18 key super. And there we go, so yeah, 30% defense, and also 7% more crit chance. So, a really good unit, man. Just really, really solid unit. Um, let's pop this active skill. Let's do it. Yo, one of my favorite animations of the game. Enjoy, guys. I think this might be enough to kill 18. Maybe not, actually. I don't know. They're only 55%. We'll see. We'll see. It does some pretty good damage. But we might be a little short as far as... Killing our girl 18 here. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's really, really good. Let me pop it again here. Let me see. Uh what's the condition again? I think I think the enemy has to be below 50% HP for us to activate it. Let me just quickly confirm for you guys here. Uh okay, yeah, so facing one enemy with whose HP is 50% or less. Uh so we do have to wait until that that happens but uh yeah good damage there from the from the what do you call it active skill and um ooh, we might wanna we might wanna do this i think that might be smart just because of gohan's typing uh let me think real quick yeah see the fizz 17 is not getting his damage reduction right now, so it would be bad news for us if we got hit by a super. So I think I'm gonna have to break these guys up. Um, but the 6.65 mil we saw is essentially going to be probably the highest attack stat we could get out of this team. If I had a better support, if we had like a 40% support, um, or even a 50% support, then obviously we could get bigger numbers. But uh, 6.65 I think is still really impressive. It's still really impressive, especially considering how easy it is actually to get this unit their 18 key super or even their full 24 key super because they get an extra two key for every rainbow key sphere. So on average, you're going to be getting that 18 key super pretty regularly, pretty frequently. And um, yeah, I guess that's all there is to say, man. I I've been impressed by what I've seen. Um, I do like the Frieza at 17 more. Um, but I think they're both really, really solid. I do understand the criticism that, like, they could be better. I think they could be, man, because, like, these days we're seeing such busted units. Like, the power creep it, it, is just off the charts, you know? It's, it's really out of control. I mean, just look at the Super Vegeta we just got revealed on Twitter earlier today, man. The STR Super Vegeta, the next Dokkan Fest on JP. That guy is better than both these units. Like, objectively, he's better than both these units. And he's a TUR. So, the expectations are very high. And these guys might not meet those lofty expectations. But, you know, with that in mind, 
they're still great. Both of them are still great, so there you go, guys. Um, we're going to finish things off here, I think. Uh, okay, let's see. I guess we'll let this guy attack first. I'm going to try to get a nice super for the 17. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Uh, ooh, okay, yeah, so we can't get an 18 key. Uh, we might actually finish off the Vegeta here with our SSB and UI. So it kind of turned into a part one LRs showcase, but that, that usually is the case if they're involved on any team, like they just take over because they're both so broken. And of course, no, I don't think the part two LRs are nearly as good as the part one LRs. That much is, I think, evident, right? Like that, that much is most people can agree on. But, um, with all that said, both really good. 17 and U7 definitely impressed me. And, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Like, I've been talking a lot, of course, about my own opinions, and I can't really respond to you anyway, so I guess that's just how it's gonna be. But, let me know if you guys have seen both videos or just like had your own experiences. Which one do you think is better, man? Do you think 17 is better, or do you think Frieza is better? I guess both of them have Frieza and 17. But you know what I mean, the U7 unit, or just the Frieza and 17 unit. Uh, you know what, let's... Ooh, maybe 17 won't kill him. And then we can get a nice 23 key super to end things off here. Hopefully we don't get supered. There we go. Okay, yo, 17. Chill. Let your, let the other 17 kill this guy. Okay, we're good. All right, nice super to end it off, man. 55%, guys. 55%. U7, LR, 5.2 mil. Oh! Wait. <laughs> I forgot there's one more phase. <laughs> okay, okay, that's my bad. Uh, all right, you know what? This worked out. This worked out. So, we got a little bit more showcase to do, I guess. It's uh, slightly awkward because I was so prepared to end the video, but hey man, we get to spend a little bit more time together. That's never a bad thing, right? Never a bad thing. Yo, my MUI actually dodged a super. Good for him. Yo, he's learning. He's he's learning because he's, take, he's taken so many supers in these videos. It's ridiculous. But um, yeah, man, this should be the last phase, I believe. Unless there's one more after this, who would who would be who would be next? Is there Jiren? No, I don't. No, no, it's all U7. It's all U7. So it should just be 17. I think this will be the last stage, and it looks like we're gonna kill him here with our Goku. Oh no! Okay, Vegeta's gonna get the last shot then. I was kind of hoping we could go back to the other. All oh, right, he absorbs. Uh oh, but this might still kill him. Man, I was kind of not hoping for that. Yeah, as I said, I was hoping for, you know, the... Bro, okay, this is the last phase. <laughs> How did I forget? I did this stage, I did this event literally a couple days ago. Like, my memory is just so terrible. My memory is so bad. Guys, I, I need some help. Okay. So, we're going to give them a nice 24 key super. Um... And these guys get a 24 key super as well. Okay, so double 24 key supers. Uh, oh, we're getting supered here before we get a chance to attack. Hopefully, it's not too bad. We do have type advantage. And we do have the support, of course, from the Fizz 17. So taking 80k there, not too shabby at all. 6.1 mil. It'd be nice if this rotation can actually kill. Oh, it's not happening. Yeah, that's not happening. But, um... Yeah, yeah, good showing from from, from these LRs. Uh, I've kind of I've kind of run out of things to say because I wasn't expecting to go for this long, guys. I, I was not expecting to go for this long. This is a long stage. This is a long event, man. How many phases? Like nine, ten phases. That's what it's felt like. Well, anyways, this this will do it. I've said this many times now, but I, I am 100% sure that this is definitely 
definitely the last phase. No question about that. And uh, yeah, once again, before you go, man, let me know in the comments. What do you think is better? Have you been impressed by the LRs? Are you disappointed? Somewhere in between? I've been impressed, man. I've been impressed mainly because like, even though I knew they were good, I've heard so much negativity about both of them, like the U7 and also the Frieza and 17, that there was a little part of, part of me at the back of my mind, I was like, maybe they're not as good as I think they are. You know, like I see the details, I know that like on paper, they're very good units. But there's so much like criticism about them, you know, so many people call them a trash that like, maybe I'm wrong, you know, like all these people calling them a trash can't be wrong. There's so many people saying it, there must be a reason. And I don't really see it, guys. <laughs> I don't really see the, the, the trash LRs, trash units, especially for the Frieza and 17. You know, more so for them than the 17 and U7. But I have heard it for both, so I'm just kind of kind of confused, honestly. But uh, there you go, guys. That is today's showcase. That is today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Oh, we got a reset. Thank you for the stones. Let me just grab those real quick before we... Get out of here. So many animations played now, man. Okay, there we go. Got our six stones. Got a couple tickets. I like it. And there it is. Let me just put up the main LR on the screen. Boom. And uh, yeah, man. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, as always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the TAM video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.